guys. Uh, today, I don't know why, but uh, my brain doesn't seem to want to do anything difficult. So uh, I'm taking a day and just doing something that's completely, I suppose, menial in terms of the task. You don't have to think about it. You just have to do it. Uh, man, my eyelids are peeling from being burnt last weekend. <laughs> too much of this when I was welding instead of using a helmet but uh, anyway so let's take a look um, I'm stripping off the vinyl from the top of the dash and you can see I had safety glasses on my head because this stuff is extremely brittle and sharp and uh, I started chipping it off with this here putty knife and I thought you know probably better put on some safety glasses because if one of those gets in my eye it's gonna hurt so anyway, uh, this is going to be my first step in just kind of analyzing what's going on here. We can look at the edge. I don't think it's going to focus very well there, so I'll back out. But there's a really thin layer of soft pad, so maybe, I don't know, it looks like maybe a sixteenth of an inch. And then it's a harder pad, so I don't know if you can tell how hard I'm having to push to get that to move. It's a real sort of stiff foam. It's not completely brittle, it's just stiff. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is put probably a two-part epoxy in the gaps here and try and fill that up. And then uh, just right on the top here, I may scrape this foam off and replace it. Or uh, I may just try and fill these cracks with some uh, foam. Just real, real easy. Like the worst part of this whole dash is right here where this little hand holder is, which I never really understood this on the late model cars. They used to have a handle up here and they took the handle off and they just kind of left this dish. It's really strange. In fact, you know, thinking about it, I may just smooth that right off. Just get rid of that piece. Uh, I never really thought there was a good I, good reason to have it. So we may just get rid of that uh, that piece right there. So I'm about half done here. The speaker grill, this is interesting. Uh, so this is going to be kind of a how-to when I get done with it, uh, how to repair your Carmen Ghia dash. This is metal right here, uh, so just mild steel, I'm guessing. Then where the speaker grill was, there's no metal. <laughs> so they didn't even run like a brace over here, so this whole thing is just kind of wobbly. There you go, you can see how it how it does its thing. So I'm going to connect a piece in here. I'm going to fit it up to the dash, get the measurement right, and then I'm going to just tack a little piece right here and here so that it holds the shape, and then we should be good after that. So it looks like uh, really the only place they glued the vinyl down was right on the edges. So if somebody else out there is going to redo their dash, this middle section comes right off. I mean, it just chips right off, no problems. It's the edges uh, where it kind of gets difficult, and this is kind of falling apart uh, here on the edge. So I'm going to have to repair those. But like on this front edge here, I just approached it like I was skinning a fish. You know, you just kind of slide this tool in and just slowly work it down, and uh, that works out. So I think uh, what's really nice is I've talked to Parrot Pilot about the radio stuff and we talked about putting a sub up in the front of the car. Oh, ouch! Just hit the back of my heel on that. Mm. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, so here we go. I've got all this room up here where the gas tank is. And uh, we talked about putting a subwoofer up here, and then he was saying, you know, you need a place to port it into the passenger compartment. Uh, maybe you don't need it, but it would be nice. I think what I'm going to do is just bring that port right up under here, because uh, I'm not going to put a speaker under here. So I think that would be a perfect spot for it. You know, you could have a three or a four inch port right there. So I'll have to ask Dan about that uh, specifically, if that's a good idea. So. Uh, Maybe that's what we'll do here. We, we're getting ideas as I'm talking through this. So we'll have our, our grill underneath here, or our sheet metal underneath this part. Probably just delete this piece if I can. Maybe there's something that will prevent me from doing that. That would suck. But uh, it feels like I can get there. No, there's something hard 
something really hard right there. So I'll bet there's a metal bar that goes through there, and there it is. So, well, maybe I could just take that out. have it all stripped down now we know what we're working with at least uh, right there on the edge boy that kind of took a hit when I was scraping stuff off so I have no idea how I'm going to work this uh, you know there's some glue spots or the vinyl the bottom of the vinyl stuck on I don't know some of this stuff there's some holy parts like that. There's some nice smooth parts. So I would suspect I need to have some kind of flexible something or other in here and then obviously start filling in the cracks. This is going to get removed and redone with something stiff or either that or I'll put the board, put something underneath it, that metal underneath it, and I have to drill out every one of them holes or something. I don't know. We'll figure it all out. It'll all get figured out. The next thing I think I'm going to do is put it in the car, fit it up, and see how it see how it fits and what I need to do. You know, when I patch it up. I think we're going to cut it off there for today. Don't let your meat loaf.